Auto Line on the Road from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit is brought to you by our signature sponsor, Continental Structural Plastics, the superheroes of vehicle light weighting. And also by Rosa, excellence in mechatronics, Hella, technology with vision, and by Ram Truck, built to serve. Arn Herbig is with Broza, and Arn, I find it very interesting that here you are, a supplier company, but you've asked us to do this interview in front of the new Mustang Shelby GT500. Yes. Why did you choose this car? Absolutely. First of all, I think it's an absolutely awesome car. Second of all, it's only fitting because Ford is our largest customer in the US. And third of all, we have some very nice products in here. We have our doors products and we are a seat supplier to Ford as well. So this not only stands for Ford, it also stands a little bit for Bros in North America. What else are you concentrating on for 2019, especially from a technology standpoint? From a technology standpoint, right now we're looking at electrification and autonomous vehicles. So electrification is really going strong, the electrification of the drivetrain to begin with, that has a big impact on many of our products. Um, here in the US for Broza, we actually developed the first large-scale application of our electric oil pump products, again, electrification of the drivetrain. And we see the US as one of the forerunners for autonomous vehicles as well. And what do you do with autonomous? We have several technologies that are applicable for autonomous vehicles. Um, we have three business divisions, seats and interiors, drives, so small electric drives, and then our doors products that include systems to operate side doors, but also lift gates. And with autonomous vehicles, we see many things happening in the vehicle interior. What are you going to do with all this time that you have if the car starts driving on its own? We'll see seats moving through the car much further and much faster than ever before. And that's quite challenging for an engineer as me. And when you mentioned doors, that's interesting too, because when we get into autonomous ride yep. sharing and ride yep. hailing, Absolutely. doors will have to be able to open and close by themselves. Because what if somebody uh, forgets to close it, or, right? Or doesn't even care. Yeah. No, we see that that's a very strong point that you're making. Um, we actually have a development running um, with several OEMs, in fact, for electrically opening doors. Um, I think we've got a very smart so solution for that, where we have a drive that hinges on the same interface as the regular door stops. You can have a car that is either manually operated or can have a power option for the side door. So it would just be able to fit into an existing door system? It would pretty much fit into any existing door system, yes. What else? What are we missing here? What else do you think is exciting that you're working on at Broza? Well, we're also, as I said, looking at who are those players in the autonomous area, right? We Again, we believe autonomous is happening in the US very fast. We have the three most important players, we believe, with Waymo and Chevy Cruise and with Zoo. So we know all these companies and we're developing with them products for those applications. Well, good. Sounds to me like you've got things going pretty well with all this future technology yeah. coming into the industry. Yes, Arn, we do. Thanks for your time today. Thank you much very much. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very it was good. a pleasure. Les Mass was once a mild-mannered materials engineer, working on projects with aluminum, trying to reduce component weight, and yet still have some intriguing design opportunities. Then, he discovered Continental Structural Plastics Advanced Composite Materials. Now he's a man of strength, of daring design. No one can dent his courage or tarnish his shine. No one knows how to lightweight better than Captain Les Mass. You too can be a superhero of lightweighting. Contact Continental Structural Plastics today, a Tasian Group Company.